Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, great. All right, well, welcome everyone to the Broad Institute Machine Learning for Drug Discovery Symposium. Um, I am Holly Suter. I am the Director of Biochemistry and Biophysics in the Center for the Development of Therapeutics here at the Broad. Um, I want to thank all of you for being here today, and I want to thank the organizing committee. This symposium was almost a year in planning, so um, we had a great team of volunteers, and I'm very thankful for them. Um, I want to thank our advisors, Anthony Filipakis, Debbie Marks, and Connor Cooley, and um, thank you to the Broad for hosting us here today. Um, in addition to the organizing committee, we have a lot of volunteers that you've seen buzzing about. Um, they've done a great job as well, so thank you to the volunteers and to our speakers who have come here today to share some of their exciting research. Um, I want to thank our sponsors, Xchem, Wuxi, Accentia, and Citadel for their uh, financial support of the symposium. I just want to go through a couple of housekeeping items. Uh, we will have, well, you all should have received a program when you came to the registration desk um, and a printout of the poster abstracts. Unfortunately, Debbie Marks is not going to be able to join us today. She contracted COVID and is not feeling well enough to do a virtual talk. Um, we definitely wish her a, a quick recovery. So due to her absence, the morning session is going to end right after the lightning talks. And the lunch will start at noon, as indicated in your program. Um, we inadvertently left Pat Walter's talk off the formal program, but there should have been an insert given to you. Um, so we'll reconvene at 1.30 for Pat's presentation. Um, there will be time for questions at the end of each speaker's presentation. And if you're in the room, you should come down to the microphones that are on either side of the seats. Uh, online attendees will put questions in the chat and we'll have someone in the room read out those questions. Um, at, for the lightning talks, we'll go through all four of the presentations and then we'll take questions at the end. Um, our coffee and snack breaks are gonna be outside the auditorium, um, just where you had breakfast this morning. We have restrooms just on the other side of the security desk. Um, for lunch, we're gonna go upstairs to the second floor. Please use the elevators. We have two options for lunch. In the Monadnock conference room, we will have banquet rounds with signs on each of the tables for discussion topics. If you would prefer more informal networking, we'll have seating outside of Monadnock there will be lunch, box lunches and beverages in the hallway. Um, the poster session is going to take place at the end of the day during the reception. There will be some poster boards in the atrium as well as on the mezzanine above the atrium. You can take the stairs in the atrium up to the mezzanine to look at the posters. And I think that's it for housekeeping items. Um, so why are we all gathered here today? In planning this event, the organizing committee sought to highlight recent progress in the application of machine learning to drug discovery. Machine learning has the potential to impact every facet of drug discovery from identifying new targets to improving patient care. In order to realize that potential, we need to come together and work as a community. Successful collaboration will require computational scientists to work closely with experimentalists who generate the data used in machine learning. Experimentalists will need to develop an understanding and appreciation of how their data is used in machine learning. Public and private investments will need to be made to build up the infrastructure to support that research and public-private partnerships will need to be formed to accelerate the research in that area. The, organize, the organizers will have considered this event a success if new and productive collaborations come about from the attendees here today.